What's up guys? It's been a minute since I've made a video, but I'm back and on this extremely hot day, as I'm sure you're well aware, I'm gonna try and knock out a video for you of putting horseshoe heels on RAF parade shoes. So what are we talking about exactly? RAF shoes. So uh, we've got RAF Halton just down the road and RAF Bryce Norton about an hour and a half away. So I get a lot of the chaps from there coming for repairs or rather alterations. And with your RAF shoes, you will either have a, a formal dress shoe or a, a combat boot. But the difference is the soles and the heels are heavily reinforced with metal work. So there's a whole bunch of different stuff we can do. Although today we're doing, as I said, uh, horseshoe heels. So it is as it sounds looks like a horseshoe and it literally fits around the heel like that and we put a rubber insert there as well it's all nailed on what we're going to do with these is put a, a thick hard wearing rubber sole on as well and metal toe plates so let's get started okay so the first thing we're going to do is start on our horseshoe so we've got our bare shoe and our new horseshoe so the first thing we're going to do is uh, marry it up with the heel and just make sure that it's the correct size and it doesn't overhang so it's the correct size but I can see it's just poking over the edge a little bit too much. So in this situation, what we can do is just bend the metal a little bit so it fits better. So I'm just gonna go to the last and give it a few whacks with the hammer. Now we've given that a bit of a whack, it fits much better. So now what we need to do is create our rubber insert to fit inside the metal. So I've got some rubber that's uh, roughly the right size already, but we're just gonna place it over so that it fills the horseshoe nicely. Let's grab a pen, draw the outline of our shape. And now we can head to the machine and start shaping the rubber. So that's our rubber shaped, so it fits nice and snug in there. So we can't have any holes in our horseshoes. Cool, so the next thing we're gonna do is nail the horseshoes on with heavy duty tacks. Right, so now for the fun bit, and a couple of bits I'm gonna tell you about fitting horseshoes is if the rubber is particularly bouncy and the wooden heel block is hard, the horseshoe itself can like to move around as the rivets are going in, if they like to bend and such. So what I like to do is just get our drill and just do a few pilot holes to give the rivets just a bit of a head start. Right, so now we've done those, we've got our rivets. Something to pay attention to is the end of the rivets. If you can see they're oblong shaped as are the holes in the horseshoe. So we have to make sure that they're going in the right orientation. And what we're gonna do is put one down in one corner one down in the opposite corner, and then one at the top. And the reason we do one corner, one corner, and one at the top is to anchor it in place so it doesn't move when we put the rest in. See that one didn't go in square, so hey, out he comes. Pop another one in, because we're not having any wonky rivets. Not today. Same again, so there's obviously a bit of a warp in the woodwork underneath, which is causing it to twist, but we'll get there. There he goes. A little bit of elbow grease to make sure it's all solid. So now what we're gonna do is apply paste, uh, uh, contact adhesive to the heel and the rubber insert and get those in place and then rivet them on. So here we go with the adhesive, just getting it inside the horseshoe and on our rubber inserts. And if you remember, I said we were doing 
heavy duty soles as well. So I've prepared the soles just a minute ago. Getting the glue on the shoe. The glue on the new sole. So that's, uh, that's me leaving the front door open. You can hear the bus going past. Busy day. Anyway, once we've let that dry for a few minutes, we're gonna put it in our infrared heater. Heat it up, stick it on, and uh, I'll just show you putting rivets in the uh, rubber insert too. So there's the meat and potatoes of our repair and uh, as ungracefully hot as I might be right now, we've still got work to do, being trimming around the edge, tidying it up, getting rid of all the excess. And then we're just gonna put a coat of black wax around the edge, polish it up uh, and then see where we are. Okay, we're nearly there. We're all waxed up, polished up, looking smart. Uh, but I'm just gonna chuck on some toe plates for the customer, just as an extra, why not? What we do is just get these tiny little tacks and they go right through into the leather. Just finish off these drill boots nicely. So there we are, poor shoe heels, rubber soles and toe plates on these drill shoes. So uh, really hope you enjoyed the video today. Guys, it's been a bit of an effort for me to film it in this heat. I think we should get out of here and find someone's hot tub to get in. But for now, thanks for watching. Hit like if you made it all the way to the end. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and catch you next time.